Did you know that a Thor cartoon was almost made around the same time that his first movie was made? I remember that years ago, whenever a new superhero movie came out, an animated series focused on that superhero would come out at the same time to serve as a tie-in for the movie. For example, when Superman Returns came out, a Superman cartoon was also made. When Spider-Man 3 came out, a Spider-Man cartoon came out. When The Dark Knight came out, a Batman cartoon also started airing. This was pretty much a common practice for both Marvel and DC, but the last time that I can remember a superhero cartoon coming out as a tie-in for a movie would be when Green Lantern came out. And the cancelled Thor cartoon that I mentioned is another example of this practice that ultimately went unmade. The animated series was announced in 2009 and it was specifically being pushed to serve as a tie-in for his upcoming first movie, but apparently the show wasn't picked up for production. These are some concept arts made by artist John Boy Mayer that he released after the show's cancellation was announced. And it was also said that it was planned for the show to have a season comprised of 26 episodes. We don't know the exact reason the show was rejected, but there's a strong possibility that some elements and concepts that were going to be used for this show were folded and included into another Marvel cartoon, Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes. This is because around that time, there was actually another show that Marvel was developing called Hulk Gamma Core that was also cancelled and its concepts ended up being used for Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes. So it's entirely possible that the same thing happened with the Thor cartoon, given that him and Loki both played a pretty big part of season 1 of the show. Anybody who's seen Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes know that, besides being great, it's also a show that was cut short. Being cancelled after only two seasons, despite the creators having a lot of planned ideas that never got to be materialized, after the show's cancellation, artist Thomas Perkins, who worked on the show as a character designer, released some what-if concept arts that show characters he would have liked to see on the show and writer Christopher Yost also revealed plot synopsis for every planned episode for the unmade season 3 of the show and Thor would have actually played a significant part in some of them. For example, there was going to be an episode where Thor and Baldur the Brave visit the Fire Realm. They were also going to adapt Ragnarok, with Surtur, Hela and Loki all making appearances and we even would have seen Throg. Honestly, the fact that Earth's Mightiest Heroes was cancelled so abruptly still makes me upset to this day. That wasn't the only cancelled Thor TV series that we know of, far from it actually. It's just the most recent case that we know about. Another example is a pitch for a Thor animated series that was developed by Hellboy creator Mike Mignola. Now, with this one I'm cheating a little bit, because it's not a show that was going to be based on Marvel's Thor, but rather the classical Thor from Norse mythology. But it's a project so cool that I had to include it in the video. We didn't know about this undeveloped show until earlier this year actually. It was revealed in a promo for an upcoming Mike Mignola documentary called Mike Mignola Drawing Monsters. Right now we only got to see Mignola's designs for Thor, Odin and Hela, but at the time of me recording this the documentary hasn't come out yet, so maybe once the documentary comes out they might reveal some more information there. The next cancelled Thor animated project I wanted to discuss isn't a series, but it's actually a cancelled animated movie. Back in the mid 2000s, after the release of the animated movie Ultimate Avengers 2, Marvel was considering making an Ultimate War slash Thor animated movie. With the first half of the movie focusing on the Ultimate War storyline from the comics, in which the Ultimates fight Magneto, and the other half would have focused on Thor, and supposedly it was going to adapt the Beta Ray Bill storyline from the classic Walt Simonson run of the character. In the end, the movie was reportedly abandoned in favor for another animated Marvel movie, Hulk vs. Besides those animated Thor projects, we also know about a Thor series that was being developed for the Fox Network in the early 2000s, alongside another Marvel show called Mutant X. TV writer Rick Ungar mentioned both shows in an interview, but it seems like the shows were cancelled behind the scenes. And another cancelled Thor cartoon comes from the mid 80s. It was a series that was being developed by Ruby Spears, 
a well-known animation company that also made other superhero cartoons around that time, like Superman and Plastic Man. A notable fact about this Ruby Spears cartoon is that Jack Kirby, the king himself, worked on it because the only couple concept arts that we have for the series were made by him. There's one that shows the Midgar Serpent attacking a big city, and he also drew some designs for Thor and Odin. Jack Kirby found himself working for Ruby Spears during the mid-80s, and it was at this time that he developed a number of animated show ideas for the company, and a cartoon based on Marvel's Thor was one of those ideas. Now, we're almost done, but the last concept that we have to discuss isn't an animated series, it was actually a proposed live-action Thor show which was considered in the late 80s and it was supposed to be a spin-off from the popular Incredible Hulk show starring Lou Ferrigno. Back in 1988, the show had a made-for-TV movie called The Incredible Hulk Returns where Thor appeared as a secondary character and it was meant to serve as a backdoor pilot for a Thor TV show. In the movie, Donald Blake is portrayed as an old student of Bruce Banner, who became bonded to the mythological god Thor after finding the Mjolnir on an expedition in Norway, and he comes to Dr. Banner for help. This portrayal of the character differs from the comic book in a pretty big way, because in this incarnation, Donald Blake actually summons Thor instead of transforming into him like in the original comics. The Thor series ultimately wasn't picked up for development, but this attempt is still notable because it was the first instance in which Marvel's Thor was adapted into live action. And those were definitely a lot of planned Thor shows that never came to fruition, but I want to know, what would be your dream Thor TV show? and which of these concepts did you like the most? Me personally, I'm really interested in that Mike Mignola Thor cartoon and I would have loved seeing the third season of Earth's Mightiest Heroes. The cancellation of that show still haunts me to this day. I can't sleep, I can't eat, I've just never been the same.